Hello friends and welcome to my channel Organetic. In today's video I will share with you some useful ideas on how to organize your accessories. If you like videos about home hacks and home organization, please subscribe to my channel and let's get started! You've already seen many ways to store belts in my videos before, but you haven't seen this one yet. That's because I'm going to organize this pull-out tray in my new closet right in front of you for the first time. I temporarily put some of my accessories there, which I will be organizing together with you right now. To do this, I use felt dividers like this. They are soft and sturdy, so they won't scratch any of my accessories and will create a clear storage system. You can buy these dividers or make them yourself with a piece of felt and cardboard. I will leave the link to the video in the description below, where I show in detail how this can be done. You can also use dividers like this. The advantage is that they can be cut to any size and create any size of compartments that you need. Let's go back to my pull-out tray. First, I lay a piece of felt as a base, then I install dividers. All that's left to do is to arrange my accessories in their new spot. Accessories can be arranged either by the frequency of use, which is when the items you used most often lie in front in the most convenient place, or by category and color, as they choose to do. And finally, it's ready! Are you familiar with hangers that come with hooks? I love these hangers with all my heart due to their versatility. You can store anything on them. If you don't have many accessories, hang them all on this one hanger. It can be small handbags, shawls or scarves, belts, or maybe even chains and necklaces. It doesn't take up much space on a closet rod and you can tightly and conveniently organize accessories. These hangers are also available for storing neckties. My husband has been using it for several years and is very happy with it. Here's another easy way to store accessories. We are going to need a tension rod. It can be installed in the depth of a cabinet. To do this, we extend the rod a couple of millimeters wider than the size we need, then adjust its length by twisting its mechanism. It holds in place very well, so don't worry about it collapsing. I used to use one of these rods in the hallway for kids' jackets and it literally lasted for three whole years until we finally moved out of there. To hang accessories on the tension rod, first I attach hooks of different sizes to it. You can hang hats on the large hooks and jewelry on the smaller ones. Since the accessories are hung at the back of the cabinet, they take up much less space than if they were just kept on the shelf. My subscribers have already seen many of my videos where I show how to store small bags. Until recently I kept my clutches in this small organizer on the shelf. It's not the most optimal way, because to grab my clutch I need to do three steps. Open the cabinet door, pull out the box and grab my clutch. So if you store your handbags the same way, check out these two ideas on how you can organize them smarter. For the first idea we need book holders. Mine are thin and metal, and therefore will save space. Next, simply place the book holders on the shelf, then arrange the handbags in between. If necessary, you can put the bag you use most often on the side right here. And here's what it looks like. Now let's check out the second idea. I will use a transparent organizer with dividers for this and will proceed to organize this shelf. That's it! Each clutch is in its place and it is very practical and beautiful. These suction cup toilet paper holders are very versatile. Besides using them for their intended purpose, you can also use them to store other things. How do you like this idea? Install the holder by the kitchen sink and hang a kitchen rag on it. Or maybe you want to attach it to a wall in a closet or the side of a dresser and hang clothes on it that you've already worn but not ready to throw in the laundry yet. Let's go back to the topic of this video. You can also organize accessories on this toilet roll holder, whether it's on the inside or the outside of a cabinet.
And now I want to share with you a cool trick for storing hats and other headwear. These candlesticks are going to help us with that. They come in different shapes and colors and are made from different materials, so you can choose the one that best fits your interior. It's a cheap yet stylish way of storage, where you don't have to look for any special head holders. If you like filming with your smartphone, this practical and stylish accessory is for you. Let me introduce you to the 3-in-1 gimbal, wireless charger and even a tripod from PowerVision. Let's open the box. It might be the world's smallest mobile gimbal, which weighs less than 300 grams. The PowerVision S1 gimbal comes with a USB-S charging cable, magnetic wall mounts and a magnetic car mount. As you can see, the device is very compact, so it fits easily into any pocket or bag. It's so easy to use this gimbal. It takes me only a few seconds to expand it. I prefer to use the magnetic phone clamp to attach my phone to the gimbal. The magnet is very strong here. You can use it as a tripod. You can charge your device on that and it's a very practical option to keep it in your bag. And of course, it's a practical gadget for making perfect movies. Just imagine, you can jump, run or even roll with your S1 gimbal. It doesn't matter what you are filming, you'll get perfect videos and photos every time. What I appreciate so much is the smart tracking option. I have installed the S1 app to make using this gimbal more efficient. It's so cool that you can instantly track faces, bodies or objects with a gesture or the click of a button. Moreover, you can operate your camera with simple hand gestures and take that perfect picture without a camera person. Please check my description box below to find the link and more information about this PowerVision S1 gimbal. This torch idea for jewelry is my favorite one. I used to keep my jewelry in a special jewelry chest with compartments and did it for a long time. But one day, while strolling down the famous Swedish store, I saw my dream dressing room, which had a jewelry drawer, or should I call it a pull-out tray? So I made my dream come true and installed the same pull-out tray in my new dressing room. This unit is 100 cm, so I was able to install three pull-out trays here. The trays are upholstered with soft material, so the jewelry won't be damaged. I really like that they come with compartments of different sizes, so everyone can choose the one that works best for their jewelry. To make it easier to get things out of here, I placed the trays so that the large compartments would be in the back. I think it turned out very nice. And most importantly, very convenient. If you'd like to learn more about organizing tricks that I used in my new house, click on the end screen video link. If you like this video, please show it to me by hitting the like button. Please subscribe to my channel if you are new. See you next week. Bye-bye!